All right, here is another of my infamous story problems. This one's a little bit less daunting, a little bit more straightforward. And it says, to melt ice, the freezing point of water must be lowered by at least 3 degrees Celsius. Well, right off the bat, since I'm lowering the freezing point of water, that tells me that this is a colligative properties problem, that I'm actually going to be depressing the freezing point of water. So I already know what kind of equation I'm going to have to use. The store has, let's see, I've got three different chemicals and two liter buckets, so I've got a volume. I can convert these to moles so I can figure out molarities or molalities. And this one asks which solid should I choose. So I need to figure out which of those three amounts of solid are going to give me a change, a depression in my freezing point of three degrees. So this is a colligative properties problem. This is the formula for colligative properties. Change in temperature equals Hoff factor times constant times molality. The constant, it can be Kf since this is a freezing point depression problem, or Kb if you were elevating the boiling point, but in this instance we are depressing the freezing point. And we're hoping my delta T is going to equal 3. So the first setup that I did here was with that 50 grams of my sodium chloride. So I want to know, does my change in temperature equal 3 degrees? My Hoff factor is 2 because this is an ionic solid. When I dissolve it in water, I will end up with NaCl and, or excuse me, Na and Cl. So that's a Hoff factor of 2, 2 ions. Kf is a constant, 1.86. M, lowercase m stands for molality, which is moles per kilogram. So first thing I had to do was convert my 50 grams of sodium chloride into moles using the formula mass. I had two liter buckets, it told me, so I'm assuming you're filling up that bucket entirely. Since water has a density of one, two liters equals two kilograms. This is not kilograms, I apologize. That is the molality. Oh, you can't even see that of my sodium chloride solution. So from there we just plug and chug. Hoff factor times constant times molality gives me a freezing point depression of 1.59. That is not the three that I was looking for. So let's try our next substance. Our next substance was 10 grams of magnesium chloride. So once again my Hoff factor this time when I put it in solution I'm going to end up with one magnesium ion and two chloride ions for a grand total of three ions. Once again, I have that freezing point constant since we're still dissolving it in water. And we calculate the molality the same way. Convert our mass in grams to moles divided by our two kilogram volume gives us our molality. Plug them all into our equation, and this one actually depresses the freezing point even less. So that one doesn't work either. One left to try. Down here at the bottom is our 15 grams of sodium carbonate. When this one goes into water, we end up with two sodiums and one carbonate. Once again, a Hoff factor of three. Constant freezing, these would be something you would look up, by the way, that's where this freezing number, uh, freezing constant is coming from. So converting for our molality, convert to moles, divide by our kilograms, sorry for the typo there, gives us our molality, shove it into our equation, oh, once again, doesn't give me those three degrees that I needed, so I'm out of luck. Once again, I... I made these problems up off the top of my head, so there's a good chance that it's not actually true that you need to lower the freezing point of water for three degrees, but it makes a good problem. It does make you think. So I hope that that walkthrough helps this problem make a little bit more sense and gives you a slightly broader interpretation of how this concept can be applied. Uh, next video will be another story problem. Until then.